Hello, and welcome to another episode of Bite Size Synthesis, quick five-minute peeks into some aspect of modular synthesis that I find fun, juicy, delicious, or otherwise inspiring. Today we'll be talking about the Rungler, a fun little feedback system invented by an arch-synthetical druid named Rob Hordyke and made famous by his module The Benjolin. The purpose of the Rungler? Loosely, almost organic chaos for fun and profit citation needed. So what is Rungling? Well, it all starts with two oscillators, a triangle wave and a pulse wave running independently. When every pulse of the second wave, the triangle is sampled and thrown into a shift register. All the values in the shift register are pushed down one slot, the last one's thrown out, and the final three bits are used to create a number that is translated into voltage. That final voltage is what we're seeing on the red scope right here. Now don't worry about the specifics here. Even I don't understand what I just said. Just pay attention to how on every pulse, the Rungler updates its value to one of eight possible different steps. That's how three-bit numbers work, after all. Now, this by itself isn't terribly earth-shaking, but look at all the pieces of the system. They all have a little knob that says Rungler. What do these do? Well, they feed back this output, this semi-random stair-step sequence into the oscillators that are creating it. This creates a feedback loop that produces madness. Now watch as I start rungling the pulse wave. Oh, that sounds wrong, but it looks and sounds so right. As the rungler output goes higher, it drives the pulse faster, causing it to update more frequently. We can also rungle the triangle wave. But the effects there are better heard as opposed to seen. And the best way to hear this organic chaos that you can push, prod, coax, and coerce, but never really control, is to take the module's filtered output, which uses the two oscillators to create a pulse wave with variable pulse width. As our two oscillators hurricanrana around each other, they stretch and pull a pulse wave into all kinds of fun shapes. Let's take a listen. Now, Right now, all we hear is the kind of blips of this very slow pulse wave. But what happens if I start driving this into audio rates?
for this week. See you next week.